for 21 laps at membership. <laughs> How does it feel to be a non influential influential figure? Did you always know it would end up like this? It must, it needed to end up somehow like this, dude. I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for this. Thanks, guys. I don't know, dude. I just I'm doing my thing, you know. I'm just going through life. I don't really I don't know I'm a bit I don't I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't think I do anything intentional. I just go on live and yap a bunch, man. We need to bring back yapping. Have you seen the video of Che with $20, Timbo? Oh, yeah. Big news, chat. Tim Welch, I'm going to probably do another thing on his channel. We're getting back in there with O'Malley, chat. That's what we're doing, okay? I'm, I'm using Tim to get to O'Malley. Do you understand? I'm joking now. No, I'm just going to ch chat to my ginger bud, Tim Welch, dude. It's been too long. Been way too long since I had a good chat with my ginger man overseas. On the other side of the Atlantic, dude. I'm not even ginger. I was born ginger, though. Again, I was looking at myself as a kid yesterday. It was why I didn't stream because I got... But um, I'm full ginger as a kid, you know. I don't know how I got cured, but um, I was full ginger as a kid. There's a picture of me as a kid, as a baby. And I'm pure ginger. Like, full, full ginger. So thank God whatever, like, seance was done or... Um, you know, I think they brought like the, the bishop round or something to like cleanse me. It kind of worked. So I think I beat it. Stream build up. I enjoy your page, but your picks are worse than Drake's. I, I really don't care though. Picks are literally completely random. Like I do less research. I have a better card of picks. I do more. I have a worse card of picks. Like it's just, it's not worth caring about. So I just make it happen, see if I can make it fun and maybe get behind some of the fighters and pick some, some underdogs that I enjoy. I'm not really taking it too seriously anymore. Uh, it's just a fluke. I literally had like my best year of predictions when I was literally going off of like base, not doing any research. Like I, I do picks back four years ago with not even knowing who someone was and just go, yeah, I'll go with him. And I had a great year of picks. So yeah, I, I don't really care anymore. Obviously I knew who they were, but I wasn't like watching tape and that, you know, but yeah, I don't really care anymore. I, I'm not, I'm not taking it too serious. Thank you for the five pounds. Are we forgetting Izzy has the GOAT, Craig Jones, training his takedown and submission defense? But he's had the GOAT, Craig Jones, and he has not improved in that realm. Thank you for the five pounds. Aussie crowd, thoughts on Helwani Bisping Beef? Also love your content and your impressions. Thank you, Rich Money Mitch. I appreciate the five dollars. Yeah, my thoughts on the Helwani Bisping Beef were this chat, pretty much. Um, my thoughts on the Helwani Bisping Beef. Helwani got laid up a 10-9, but he's gone too far to say that he's the one who got Bisping his title shot. So he's he's just lied now because he wasn't the reason. Rockhold literally chose Bisping because he didn't want to fight Jacare because he'd already fought Jacare and he'd rather have fought Bisping because he thought Bisping had sell the fight. That's very well known behind the scenes MMA logic and like information. Like Ariel went too far trying to get the 10-8. So he's fumbled the 10 9. They're back at a draw now, I would say. Thank you for the $2, Blake A. Appreciate you. MMA YouTube is burning down and you go inside to save the creators. You only have enough time to save Bedtime MMA or Lucas Tracy. Who do you save? Mm. What it do? Bedtime crew. Hey, listen, man. I'm joking, though. I don't know. I probably. Lucas Tracy, because he's a huge, I'd see him as a human, whereas Bedtime doesn't even have a face to his channel. So I don't know. I probably wouldn't even recognize Bedtime MMA. I'd be telling him to say, say what it do. So I know it's you. You know what I mean? But he'd be like crushed under debris. So it might not sort of come out right. Thank you for the $2. Maybe we would. You should rock the Edgar haircut. No, thanks. The Edgar haircut. That sounds gay and posh. No, I should not rock this haircut. I am not a Hispanic. So no, I should not. Okay? Fuck off, mate. I could, but no. I'm not rocking that haircut, bro. Dude, you got to find your own niche. Stop following the fucking trends that look good on other people. You know what I'm saying? I don't look good with this. I don't look good with a fade. I don't look good like with a buzz cut. You know what I mean? So just because like it's the trend doesn't mean you should also just get the haircut. You might look like a you know what I'm saying? For him, you know, he gets money and doesn't thank it at all. <laughs> um, your head is so damn big. I know, dude. I actually saw a picture of myself as a child yesterday, which is why I didn't stream because it depressed me a bit. 
But um, I saw a picture of myself as a child. Dude, when I was eight years old, my head was larger than my dad's. Do you understand that? At eight years old. Maybe nine or something like that. <laughs> I'm not even joking. There's a picture of us like heads together on a holiday. And uh, it's big. It's like the same size as his head. My head is the same size. No, without the hair, I'd like buzz cut. Thank you for the... Where's the new IG? Oh, you messaged it. It's me is what you're saying. Chat summary, auto-generated experiment, quality may vary. YouTube's inputted a new chat summary system where people describe what's going on. This chat is about the YouTuber. Somebody has used AI to get a description of what goes on in my chat. The response from AI was, this chat is about the YouTuber Piggy and his appearance. The viewers are commenting on his weight, hair, and clothing. You know what, yeah? AI has exposed you guys. You lot are gay, you know? You lot are gay. This chat is about the YouTuber Piggy and his appearance. The viewers are commenting on his weight, hair, and clothing. That's what AI deduced from our live chat. You guys, I want this to be known Next time anyone donates some shit like talk about MMA, AI's rumbled them. That's all they yap about in chat, dude, while I'm reading donations. Read the chat, dude. Talk about MMA. That's all they yap about. And AI just fucking exposed it as well. <laughs> I don't want to hear no more read about MMA. It didn't even fucking deduce that we were in MMA-based chat. That's how this AI is. Whatever. Impression of... I need to read Darren Till's response. Impression of DDP. Um, no thanks. <laughs> a legendary Polish pool, you know? Mm -mm. Let's go. Very good pool, you know? DDP dominates Izzy mentally. Underrated trash talk. Yep. Very true. Very true. Um, what song do you keep having? I just answered that one. I don't know what song it is. It's just like Duma music. Do, 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 do. Yeah, DDP can get under his skin for sure. Opinions on Izzy rapidly approaching 35th birthday. He's what it is. Um, he's going to lose, dude. Got a what Izzy might do is he might provoke him a lot on social. What you Can you guys see this? Yes or no, chat? I can see Izzy provoking Strickus in like interviews building up and social media building up. And then once the press conference starts, he might go backseat all of a sudden. So the world will see Drickus's like retaliation, maybe. So that's what Drickus needs to do. There's a lot of ways that Drickus needs to be mentally prepared for this. I need to, I'm going to speak to Drickus Duplessis. Well, I need to get him locked in, dude. I'm going to give him every way Adesanya can approach this, dude. And we're going to have a real, I'm going to call it like the war meeting with Drickus Duplessis. <laughs> Drickus Duplessis and MMA Guru plot with Israel Adesanya. At UFC 305, dude. We got to really do an extensive interview. Really laying out how this needs to go. <laughs> Bro thinks he's part of the team. Dude, have you shaken hands with the team leader of Team CIT? I don't know. I got blessing from the great Mourneviteur himself, mate. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you guys don't like that, but I'm a part of the team, guys. Okay? I'm Team CIT till I die. Okay? <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know. I, they, they only met him for like two days anyway. <laughs> you know, I barely know them. But it's all good. Emma Vigory War Room. Yeah, let's really sink Dan Hardy's algorithm. <laughs> Thank you for the $5. I've only throwing shots at you, YouTuber in the basement who hasn't showered. Now we know he watches. And so I expect, I expect people to doubt, people to criticize, people to, 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 to throw stones people to make up shit. I expect that from trolls. I expect that from Twitter people. I expect that from people who, you know, make YouTube videos in their basement who haven't taken a shower in a, in a week, who know no one in the sport, who just make up shit for, for clicks and all that stuff. I expect that. That's, that's the type of stuff that, that gets by. I expect that. You can, you can get some views. 
off of that stance. Ah, uh, dude, you know, it's, it's so weird to me how they don't think I've got my own house yet. It, it's a very strange thing. Like, I must be in my parents' basement for them to, like, get an insult in against me. It's, it's a weird thing. Um, thoughts on hell? I'm literally beating ESPN, but it's all good. Thug gets on Ariel's comments on you. Thug gets on Ariel's thoughts on Ariel's comments on you. Um, I mean, he kind of got a little bit angry, right, Jack? Did he not get angry? He got like randomly angry and then kind of lashed out a little bit, right? Like someone who doesn't even shower or whatever. Like, I, I don't get it. Um, it is what it is. Like, I don't really care what Ariel does. To be honest with you, Ariel, like, if he ain't breaking news, like, I couldn't give a fuck about him. To be honest with you. Ariel's kind of done now. I feel like if I make another video on Ariel, I could. But it's just like, at this point, I am punching down a little bit, right? It was fun when I was punching up at Ariel, the boss of MMA media, right? Wasn't it, chat? Like he's the Ariel's the big staple name of MMA media. I was going after him, and if he does do like some real snaky shit again, I will. I'm not just going to make a video just to make a video on him because I can insult him. You know what I mean? Because that is just become bullying the little man at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes me seem desperate. Yeah, true. What's your beef with Ariel? You're literally a troll who talks behind fighters' backs. He asks difficult questions to their face and wins awards. Jealous? No, I'm not jealous of him. He's 40 and he won a couple of awards that are basically rigged towards him based on nepotism because name another MMA media member outside of him. It's literally a, what, a competition between him and Luke Thomas. Ugh. You know what I mean? I'm not jealous of Ariel. Um, the reason why I go after Ariel is, yeah, I am a horrible person. Like, I go after fighters. I am a horrible person. Like, I'm not a great person to be around, to, to, I'm not a good person to people. You know what I mean? I don't care for people that much. I don't act like I am. Ariel acts like he's this saint that never does anything wrong, but he's out there fucking manipulating so much in the scene that you've got to call him out for that, man. You know what I mean? You can't have it both ways. You can't live the life of a worm and have the fucking glory of a hero. I don't get heralded as a hero by people online because I'm not. Because I shit on the fighters. But I don't ever claim to be. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Ignore chat. Dude, I'm not ignoring it, Vargansy. I'm reading donations. I'm, I'm trying to look at chat whenever there's none. But there's donations right now. Jesus. Um, thank you for the $2. Leon versus Strickland at 185. Who wins? Uh, I'll go Strickland, probably. Nate Diaz rocked him. Uh, Strickland eventually catch him. Lyndon Bartlett. I appreciate the membership, dude. 